Welcome back. I am Dave Forste and this is Five Below Product Reviews, where we look at Five Below art products and we review them. So today's lucky product is Silky Crayons. So these ones came in a really cool container. It's like hard plastic see-through kind of thing. Like, you know, I'm always kind of impressed with packaging. I feel like packaging is a lot of the reason why I end up picking up and buying what I buy is if I like the packaging. So this one was pretty cool. So that's why we have it. So anyway, I thought they were a little bit like children's craft kind of uh, like product because silky crayons and like the word crayon to me just reminds me of just like Crayola eight packs. Uh, but these are definitely packaged really well. They're really sturdy. Um, and there was quite a bit of colors for what they were. So definitely an interesting product. And as I opened them and checked them out, they definitely reminded me of, uh, well, obviously a crayon, but like a pastel. So I was kind of at this point thinking maybe they'll behave or work like an oil pastel. Um, something very soft and moldable. So if you see there kind of on my finger, it comes off and it was pretty vibrant. Like the pigment of it just rubbing against um, my finger was pretty bright. So kind of matches my nails. Anyway, that's another story. So swatchy swatch, swatch, swatch. So I assumed that the color of the barrels of the crayons would probably more closely match the actual color of the crayon than say like a marker would or, you know, something with ink of any kind. And that really was the case. These barrels were pretty true to the color um, that they were. So then it's like, now do they blend? So here I did an orange, a yellow, and a green um, next to each other, and I left a little bit of room, and I came back in with yellow to try to blend the yellow to the orange and then the yellow to the green. You'd really have to work a little bit harder to get a decent gradient because there weren't shades of colors near each other. I mean, it's a lot of colors in this pack for five bucks, but you're still not getting a ton of colors. But with a little bit of like warmth, um, the, the, I want to say the pastel, the crayon is very soft. So just adding a little bit of warmth using my finger to blend them. I thought the orange to yellow looked pretty good. The green to yellow was like a hard sell, but the orange to yellow is pretty good. Um, and then I wanted to kind of blend and do a bit more. How could I make something lighter if I wanted to really really changed the color. Um, so I did white and purple and I thought the white and purple was pretty successful. Um, and then I tried black. Black was messy, but in doing the black, I was reminded of those old crafts like scratch paper and things you would do with crayons. And the black really lent itself to that. So I don't know, that could be fun. It was kind of a fun thing to kind of figure out as I was doing it. Um, but again, they blend it really well. They were very soft. Um, they're not going to blend and give you the look of an, a marker, obviously. Um, and definitely not if you're a pastel user. You can tell me that I'm completely wrong and pastels are totally different. Um, definitely not an expert. Um, but that's, that's exactly what they reminded me of. They reminded me of really soft uh, pastels. Um, so now we're sketching out what we're going to do. Um, and you can see I'm kind of taking my inspiration from the sticker there. Uh, go big or go home, though. So I really did, even though I swatched all the colors and I typically am like a pinky kind of person, I like the way the yellow looked, so I'm just going to go with some yellow. And thinking now, I'm planning this out and I'm voicing this over after the fact, so I'm telling you what I was thinking now and I'm realizing I don't think I would have done it this way. What I'm thinking now is I'm getting all the chunks of colors done and just like on my swatch where I then blended them together, that's what I'm thinking right now. So past me filming this was thinking, let's get all the yellow down. And then I pulled two other greens. There's like a lime green and a slightly darker, like kind of normal green on a tree green, forest green. Um, so I pulled those colors and now I'm laying them down where I want them. So I'm putting the darker green where the shadows are, the yellow where the, like the brighter spots are where light might be hitting the tentacles. And then I'm going in with the lime green, which I should have consulted my swatch. Cause if you look, mm, it's not so limey. Um, that's not really the brightest color. So now I'm going back like I did with my swatching and I'm trying to blend it with yellow. Well, I think there's too much crayon on the paper, um, that the yellow is just not moving it around. And 
by now it's sat and where it worked better when it was warm, I think it cooled off, if that makes sense. Like it felt drier. So I decided to work at it with my finger and try to warm up the crayon a bit more and get it to blend. So this took probably 10 minutes almost, um, almost 10 minutes to get it working and to get it a little bit more smeary. So my lesson learned here was if I was going to do another piece with the crayons, which they were really fun to work with, um, so I would, I would likely just do it section at a time. So here I'm coming back in and I'm adding more yellow because when I first add it, it's soft. The longer it sits on the paper, the kind of harder and colder it got. I don't know if that's a pastel thing. If you use pastels, comment and tell me if that's a thing. I was not aware. So um, they, I really liked them though. They were very soft. They were really fun to work with. The vibrant colors. And I also feel like anytime I'm using any of these art products um, at all and I'm working on paper, there's always a bit more uh, finality to all your choices as opposed to digital work. So it's kind of just a cool thing too to like you put the color on the paper and there's no undo. It's just that's it. You're done. And it, if you really hate it, you scrap the whole thing. Um, so also with pastels, I don't know. How do you set them? Like these are, I know they're not pastels or crayons, but how do you set them? I had no idea what other product I could use with a crayon that would actually like lay over it. It was so like waxy and soft. So I'm just using a black one of them, a black silky crayon to do all my outlines. And then I come in with a white one and I'll try to do some highlights. So that didn't really work. Um, <laughs> you'll see that in a second, but the black I thought looked really good and it, it kept kind of like a sloppy, chunky look to it. Um, again, these were super fun to use, so I will probably try to use them again. So if you have any pointers on how to use something like this, let me know in the comments. Um, the white, probably not its intended purpose. So maybe someone will tell me, uh, the black I thought looked great and after you put the, like I put the black on, I feel like just like some of the lines, it kind of brought the rest of it together. So the parts that didn't blend so well, um, I feel like the black kind of hides that. So all in all, I really liked it. It was fun. Um, I think these were definitely a good purchase. So if you are into pastels, I think this is definitely something if you want to find a cheap art supply to play with, um, I would recommend this one. I like this one a lot. So there's me setting up my... Instagram shot, I suppose, <laughs> but I just kept recording. So thanks for joining. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Talk to you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.